guys I've got another simple tutorial today and it's about adding sort of like a laser sight to a weapon in your game in Unity and all you need to use is you use something called a line renderer I showed something in one of my other tutorials called the trail renderer but all the line renderer actually does is as the name suggests it renders a line that you specify so first of all all I've got in my scene like before he's got a first person controller whatever so I've got one of my gun models here and just you know the terrain so first of all I've got my main camera I've already positioned my gun next to my main camera if you could see the main camera preview it's about there this is just to save time so I don't have to show you positioning in front of the camera and then all you need to do is you need to drag the actual weapon onto the camera so when you play your game your gun will actually follow your camera it's not necessary but otherwise it will nothing will happen so what we need to do is we need to actually add a get um empty game object what we're going to do is we're going to place this wherever you want your actual um gun laser to reside from so for this example i'll just put it at the end of um the barrel and just position it yeah something like that that's okay and i'll just name this um, laser and what you want to do is you want to parent that to whatever weapon or object that you've got in front and when you've got that as long as you collect on it you can go to component effects line renderer and what I'm going to do here these are the line renderer options I'm going to create go to right click create material and say so we'll call this uh, laser mat for laser material and all I've done is created um, an actual gradient um, image in Photoshop just using the gradient tool here the gradient tool with a red solid that goes to a transparent background and I've saved it out as a PSD and you can see it here in Unity so with my laser material I'm just going to drag it on to here and I'll just set it to a transparent cutout diffuse just so you know we can see it like that you don't have to do it like this it doesn't really matter um, then on the laser what we can do on the material we can add the laser material so that's that we'll want to change the Z position so that's the size of which the laser will actually come from the end of the barrel and what we want to do is actually change the start width so if we change the start width to the site 0.075 and then the end width will make it thinner, 0.015. What we'll do is untick use world space. And what we'll do is actually move this back so it looks like the line's actually coming from the um, gun. I mean, you can adjust this alpha cutoff. I could have actually done it so my map goes this way so the gradient goes this way so we'd see a fall off in one of the directions and that's just an error to do with my one of Unity's errors um, so we've basically got this now we want to add something that will let us actually you know turn this um, laser on and off because if I first show you what happens you know you get your laser there that's what it might look like now you might want something to actually in other games you um, you might see the actual laser be turned on and off so if you go right click create javascript and we'll just name this laser toggle what we'll do is open laser toggle up and then once my develops open we'll, in the start function we're going to write this dot renderer dot enabled equals false so at the start we don't want to see it in our update function we're going to write if input dot get key down open brackets f close both brackets then if we put two curly brackets below that we'll say if this dot renderer dot enabled is equal is set to should I say false um, then 
we'll add two more curly brackets in here and say this dot renderer dot enabled is equal to true and then below here we'll put else and then put our curly brackets else this dot renderer dot enabled equals false and that's pretty much it we'll save that out so that means it'll start off you can't see the actual line then if we press F it'll show the actual line and if then if we press F again it won't do so if we save that as we have done now on the laser what you could do is you can add your laser toggle to that because this dot renderer works because it'll find this line renderer and if we play the game so at the beginning, nothing there, press F, you can see the actual line and such when I keep pressing F. And you can change you can change other parameters like you can make the line longer by adjusting this Z value. But basically that's how to make a very simple um say laser site for your games. Alright, thanks very much. If you like the tutorial, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.